It's a dark time for song requests on Twitch because of two things. The first thing is that Spotify has been removed from the Streamlabs chatbot song request function. The second thing is that Twitch partners and affiliates are not allowed to stream copyrighted songs at all on their stream. But of course there is a solution for everything and I think that I found a pretty great one to still use song requests on your stream. Now the problem with song requests is that when viewers can request whatever song they want, even when you say they can only request copyright free songs, it's possible that they still request a copyrighted song. On top of that, when they only request copyright free songs, you still have to credit them all in your description and it is impossible to credit every song because you don't know which songs they will request and it's just too much to credit every song in your Twitch description. So a solution for that that I found is this playlist on YouTube. It's a playlist with over 600 songs by no copyright sounds. Most of you guys will know this, but No Copyright Sounds is a YouTube channel that releases a lot of tracks that are all copyright free. And the great thing about this is when we go to the frequently asked questions of NCS, is that we see right here, if you are using our music for Twitch streams or YouTube streams, you simply need to put this right here in your Twitch description and you're covered for every song by No Copyright Sounds. So what will we do? We will add this piece of text to our Twitch description and then we will allow viewers to request whatever song is inside this playlist because we are covered for all these songs. Now how do we do that? Well that's the thing that we will be setting up right now. So let's open our Streamlabs chatbot and if you haven't set up the chatbot yet you can go to that tutorial where I show you how to link everything and set everything up and then come back to this one to set up the song requests. On your left go to song request and right here this is the main screen. If you haven't enabled it yet right here on top you can do that and you see that we only see a YouTube icon. In the past there also used to be a Spotify icon but the Spotify API changed and it's now impossible to use song requests with Spotify which is a bummer. Now the first thing that we will do is adding this playlist to the song request function. So how do we do it? Go back to the internet browser and then go to complete playlist. Okay, so right here, this is the complete playlist with over 600 songs. So copy the URL on top. Go back to the Streamlabs chatbot. Then on top, click on the import icon right here. And then here we see playlist and we can paste the URL right here and click on add. Of course this can take a while because it's a big playlist, so I will fast forward the video till it's done. Okay, and every song is added right here. We can scroll and see it's a lot of songs, but right now let's go back. And now we will set up the song request, so users can only request songs from this playlist. To do that, click on the gear icon right here, and right here you click on limit requests to current playlist. And what is our current playlist? Well, when we go back, it's all the songs that are right here on the right. On the left, you can see a list with all songs that have been requested by people and that are in the queue. Of course, it's empty. So what will happen right now when you click on play, when the requested song is ending and there is no next requested song, then song request will just start playing the next song that is on the right. So you see right here, when I skip ahead, to the end, it ends and it just plays the next song right here. Of course right now we need to set up the song request so that users can request songs. So on the top click on the gear icon and then I will explain the basic functions right here. Of course the first thing request permission is who should have permission to request songs in your stream. Some people want only subscribers to be able to request songs so you can set it up right here. Then here show video, when you go back it's this right here. If you make no use of this then you can just disable it. So in the settings right here set this to false and then when you go back you see that the video player disappeared and you just have a bigger list of the next songs or the requested songs. 
Let's go back to the settings and then right here skip permission. Viewers can vote to skip a song and then when a certain amount of people have voted to skip the song it will actually be skipped. If you want only subscribers to be able to skip songs you can set it up right here. I will keep it at everyone right now and then veto. This is a powerful command because veto allows one user to skip a certain song immediately. Of course it costs a lot of points for the viewer but still it's a powerful command so by default it is set to regular. Now what is a regular when we go to currency on the left and then we click on the gear icon you can see right here automatically become a regular at 30 hours or points. So right here you can say well people who have viewed my stream for 30 hours or more are regulars they are dedicated to my stream so they earn the regular title. So then in song requests in the settings right here, you see that only people who have viewed your stream for 30 hours or more are able to veto a song. Then right here, maximum duration. This is the maximum duration a requested song can be. Of course, this doesn't matter because you selected a playlist so you know all these songs that are inside. So we can actually leave this at 60, it doesn't matter. Then max queue, this is the maximum amount of songs that can be in the queue. This is personal preference, change this to what you want. You can leave the quality, leave the mode right here. And then for command, by selecting both, you can allow users to use exclamation mark SR or exclamation mark song request. So I recommend this, so set this to both. Then here, limit to music category on YouTube. It doesn't matter because we selected a playlist. Then limit to songs with more likes and dislikes also doesn't matter. Then limit requests to current playlist. Of course, this is the most important one. We had to enable this to allow people to only request songs from our chosen playlist. Then right here, the currency cost. Of course, if you make people pay currency to play a song, you need to have set up the currency of your stream. If you haven't done that yet, you can go to my guide in the course where I explain everything about currency and then come back to here. And if it's already set up, let's go ahead. Then right here the viewer cost is the amount of currency it costs for a viewer to request a song. You can set a different amount for regular subs etc. Then these two options are really important skip cost and veto cost. Veto is like I explained that one person can veto a song and it gets skipped immediately. Of course it costs a lot you can make it cost even more or less that's your choice. Then skip cost right here is really important. On the bottom you see votes until skip so right now it's five so there need to be five people that voted to skip the song for the song to be actually skipped and the cost for one person to vote to skip the song is 100 by default you can change this if you want and then right here at the bottom you can select for viewers regular subs etc how many songs they can request in one session. And then the last thing to set up is pretty important because we have a problem right now and I will show you what. I will go back to my internet browser and right here I have a song by Michael Jackson. Let's say that someone wants to request this song. Of course it's not allowed but let's see what happens. We go back to the chatbot to console and we type exclamation mark SR and then the URL of the Michael Jackson song. So we hit enter and the result is the song you try to request is not part of the streamer's playlist. Please pick from the playlist. But what playlist? Because most viewers will have no clue that you selected the NCS playlist for them to pick songs from. So what's the solution? We change the response of this error message by going on the bottom to the settings icon, then click on localization, then click on song request, then scroll completely to the bottom and right here, not in playlist, the response is right here. So at the end, please pick from the playlist. We will change this by, please pick from this playlist, double point, and then paste the URL right here. Okay, let's close this and now see what happens. Exclamation mark, SR, okay. Then the response is that I cannot request this song but that I need to pick from this playlist. So they click on that, they go to the playlist, they say, oh, this song is great, so they click on it. Then they copy the URL on top. And then when I request this song, exclamation mark SR, that song, 
Then the response is this song has been added to the queue. So when we go to song request to the main screen, right here on the left we see that the song has been added to the queue. And I have a question for you. Will you be using this playlist or do you hate NCS songs? And will you be making up your own playlist? How will you handle this whole thing? Let us know down in the comments so we can talk about it and other people can also get some inspiration from what you are doing. And if you want to grow your online influence with gaming and you're not subscribed yet to this channel, then what are you doing? Click the subscribe button, turn on the notification bell so I will see you in my next video. Have a good day.